As demonstrators in cities coast to coast continue to demand change, Ken Rice is reflecting tonight on the work of a legendary Pittsburgh playwright who has taught audiences much about racial inequality. August Wilson once said that black artists can be the spearhead of a movement to reignite political and social change. Today, here in Pittsburgh, there's a renewed effort to fulfill that legacy. August Wilson died in 2005, having won two Pulitzers and a Tony for his plays about black life in America. Were he still alive? He would be thinking about what to write about what's going on. Um, you know, we definitely lost him too soon, Ken. He's one of the most acclaimed playwrights of our time, as well as one of the most popular. Not bad for a high school dropout from Pittsburgh. As 60 Minutes noted, in 2002, Wilson's acclaimed plays were about being black in Pittsburgh, informed by his early years as a boy in the Hill District. The plays are poignant, they're angry and funny, and tell stories of struggle. Now don't you go through life worrying about whether somebody like you or not. You best be making sure that they're doing right by you. Paul Ellis is Wilson's nephew. Amid today's anger over injustice, he remembers a speech that his uncle gave not long after police fired shot after shot at Amadou Diallo outside his home in New York in 1999. He just slammed his hand on the podium. It was really, really loud. Pow, 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 41 times. And it was, it was riveting. A black man, unarmed, standing in a vestibule's house, is shot 41 times. A white man waving a rifle on the lawn of the White House, 150 yards from the leader of the free world. They negotiate with him for 10 minutes and shoot him one time in the lake. That's the difference in being white and black in America. So yes, you know, I'm angry. Today, Ellis is bringing new life to his uncle's boyhood home, the August Wilson House, which will be a center for arts education and programming. Chris Rawson is the project's program chair. Ken, I don't think many Pittsburghers know what August Wilson means around the world. They just wanted to put their hands on the house where August Wilson spent his first 12 years, where uh, the, the whole history and stories were nurtured that gave us that rich cycle of plays. While fundraising continues, Rawson and Ellis are about to launch a weekly series of online interviews. Rawson talking with actors who've been in Wilson's plays and Ellis focusing on connecting aspiring young artists with professionals creating a pathway for more Voices of Pittsburgh to be heard far and wide. Ken Rice, KDKA News.